Hello everybody, uh, we're both games in and LSU in a few minutes ago, uh, but I waited for Penn State and Auburn to win. Uh, waited for Auburn to choke that, uh, choke that game away. But anyway, uh, LSU wins, I don't even remember the final score, 49 to 28, 49-21, 49 to 21, I do believe. Uh, we put, we put in the running back that we were, uh, me and my dad were waiting for all game, Corey Kiner, uh, he was Mr. Ohio in high school. We've been waiting all game. Him and Nussmeyer both to be uh, put in. And as soon as uh, Corey Connor, which was Mr. Ohio in high school, uh, back in Ohio, of course, he started getting 9, 10 yards a carry, uh, 8, 10 yards at a uh, touchdown, like trick moves, all sorts of stuff that TDP couldn't do. Uh, so Ed Orgeron has him explaining to do after this game, after tonight. Uh, and one of the questions that I would ask him is why did he wait all the way to the game was over with to put in Corey Connor just to go just to go in there and I mean to go in there and basically prove him wrong. I mean he should have put he should have put Corey Connor in way before that because like like we expected, uh Corey Connor would go in there and do, you know, do what he's known to do. And I don't get why Ed O'Shawn waited all that long to put him in. That's one of the questions I would ask him. Another one let me think of some questions I would ask him. Another one would be uh, about the offensive line. No, the offensive line needs to be. That's really the only question I have right now I can think of on this video. Uh, but I don't know. I, I can't explain that. I don't know why. I mean, it was. It don't. It can't even be explained. Why would you put in somebody like TDP that only goes for two, three yards of carry? Then put in Corey Connor, who goes for nine, ten yards a carry. That don't make sense to me, but hey, uh, maybe there's something behind it. Maybe Corey Connor can't block or something when, when there's passing because we pass so much. Um, LSU needs to get an offensive line and a run game if they want to do anything this year. Because next week at Mississippi State, SEC team, uh, without a run game or offensive line that improves, they're not going to win. Uh, I know it's Mississippi State and they lost to Memphis, but it's still an SEC team with the SEC defensive line, O-line. And everything, uh, Mississippi State will have better in than Central Michigan, McNeese. I can't even say UCLA because we lost to UCLA. Uh, so, unless you better get ready because SEC and the grind starts now after this game. No more cupcake games except UL Monroe to the second uh, second to last game on the schedule. Uh, so, they, they need to get ready. Uh, SEC grind starts now, and that's all i got to say as far as that. So, now... Next department will go to Penn State and Auburn. Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, Auburn basically choked this game away. They had this game. Uh, Penn State came in there, proved them wrong, proved Auburn's minds wrong, and went in there and basically just dominated the game from the fourth quarter on. They went in there, scored two, three touchdowns. I'm just going off what I've seen. I think uh, it was a close game. 28-20. Penn State survived Auburn. Uh, Auburn should have won this game. They had plenty of opportunities to win this game. Penn State executed well all game, and Auburn didn't. So, uh, Auburn was shooting themselves in the foot all game, and it came back to haunt them uh, in the last few minutes. So, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, I'm going to watch a few more football games and then uh, call it a night. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here, y'all. Uh, final score, LSU beat Central Michigan 49-21, to and Penn State beats... Auburn at home and Happy Valley, twenty eight and to twenty and survives. So I'm gonna get off of here. I'll be on for the uh, Carolina Panthers and the Sa uh, New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers halftime and post game videos tomorrow. So stay tuned to that. And until then, I'll see y'all next time.